welcome to ET Garage. Today's video is going to be another JB Weld uh, product review. Uh, a little while back, I did a review of this product, JB Weld Plastic Bonder High Strength Structural Adhesive. Has a 15 minute cure time. I don't know if you've seen that video, but it took a lot more than 15 minutes. Uh, so I, I seen their other product on their product page, or uh, Plastic Weld Quick Setting Epoxy. Five minute time, it says. I hope. And uh, it's also supposed to have a uh, stronger, uh, stronger strength. I think I forgot what the strength of the other one was, but uh, this is stronger. I know this is 3,900 psi. The other one I think was like 34, 3,700 psi. I don't know if I if I find out, I'll post it up here somewhere. But anyway, uh, it comes of course in this package with this built-in mixing tray and a little wooden uh, mixer. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use that and for the repair I'm going to do today. And the repair I am going to do is going to be on my tripod. And if you see right here, it cracked. And I don't think this stuff is going to be strong enough because when you lock this, it puts a lot of force on here. But I'm going to try it anyway. It's cracked there and apparently, uh, let's see, it looks like it must be cracked on the other side too. Yeah. So I'm going to stuff that full of it, mix this stuff up, stuff it in there, all that good stuff, and uh, see what I can do. Let me see if I can get a better camera angle here. So uh, hold on and I'll get to repairing this. Okay, it's been... Uh, over five minutes and this stuff ain't even close to curing now the instructions do say I don't know if you can see that there or not but it does say uh, that it it sets in five minutes cures in one hour if temperature is below 40 degrees Fahrenheit then set time is longer it's uh, 68 degrees Fahrenheit in here right now uh, it also says for best results, use a detergent or degreaser to first clean the surface, then rough and surface the file, etc., etc. Uh, I don't even think this stuff's going to set up in one hour, but I'm going to wait one hour and come back and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it's set up because I don't feel like waiting all day for this stuff to dry. That's the reason you buy five minute epoxy. It's because you don't want to wait all day for it to dry. You don't want to wait 24 hours. You want to set it up in five minutes and get on with your projects. Uh, that ain't going to happen with this. So I'll get back here shortly and uh, we'll see how uh, this is doing. It is thickening up. Uh, I don't know. Maybe in one hour it might be hard enough, but I doubt it. Okay, it's uh, just over an hour. And uh, the stuff did get hard, but it's not completely hard. I can still put like my finger uh, fingernail into it. It's still uh, not like rock hard or hard as plastic. And uh, I'm going to let it sit. I think I'm going to let it sit a little bit longer. Maybe I'll wait two hours just to play it safe. Before I take this uh, off, I'm going to have to cut this off, this uh, tie wrap that I used. I'll probably put one back on there to hold this, just for extra strength. Because I do use this tripod a lot. I could just buy another cheap one, I guess. I don't know. I didn't just do that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to wait another hour, play it safe. Okay, here we are, plastic weld, quick setting epoxy. It's now been uh, another hour passed by, making this two hours. This stuff is a lot harder, but it's still, I still feel like I can put my finger uh, nail into it and bed my fingernail. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and remove this tie wrap. I'll probably put another one back on there, but. And just see how well this held, but I don't I don't think it's gonna help. But give me a second and I'll cut that off using the Dremel motor tool, my favorite tool. One of my favorite tools, I should say. 
Okay, and it seems to be holding together without me locking it. And let's see what happens when I lock it. Okay, it seems to be holding. Uh, I'm not going to press it. I'm going to let it sit overnight. And I could sand this all clean and and whatnot. And I still may put a tie wrap. I don't know if this will work with a tie wrap on it. Might not. Uh, Seems to be holding it. It just only takes more, just like the, uh, the plastic bonder that I use, which says 15 minutes. It uh, just like that. The results with the plastic bonder, it took a lot more than 15 minutes. I actually ended up waiting for the next day. And just like that, this 15 minute, this five minute one, plastic weld, quick setting epoxy, takes a lot more than five minutes. I mean, it's two hours now. And I'm still not satisfied with it. I mean, I am going to give it a thumbs up. It seems to be holding. So I'll give it a thumbs up. A good thumbs up there like that. And uh, But for setup time, I'm going to give it a thumbs down. I think I did the same thing with the other stuff. But uh, I shouldn't have to use this uh, probably till later in the week. So I'm going to let it set. Be happy, all that good stuff. It did work. It did hold this bond so far. See how well it holds over time. If it does break over time, I'll let everybody know. In the meantime, and I hope this video was informative. This product review was informative. And uh, I want everybody to have a great day. God bless. Take care.